So I do something called, it's called the weekly update. It's a four quad. So imagine, you know, taking something and, uh, you know, and splitting it. And this is a uh, key accomplishments last week. Blockers, challenges, resolutions. Then you have top three priorities, you know, of the month. And then you have radar. So this is something that uh, Buck actually introduces to me early on, right when he first started. Um, now how this really comes into play, if we spin it over here to the wall, is you've got your corporate goals. You know, typically you've got, you know, revenue goals, margin goals, you know, people development, things that your organization is working on to improve the overall profitability of the company, the growth of the company, and the people that work at the company. And then they use an annual roadmap, plan it out. Okay, what are we gonna do in Q1? What are we gonna do in Q2? What are we gonna do in Q3 and Q4? That then breaks down to quarterly. What are our quarterly goals in pursuit of the annual roadmap? And then it gets down to the weekly objectives. And this is how we use the four box. The four box is used to really drive what are those weekly objectives that we're uh, hitting or not hitting in pursuit of quarterly goals, in pursuit of the annual roadmap, in pursuit of the overall corporate goals. Ryan, Taylor, and I, this is how we meet every single week. So it's simple, you know, what was accomplished last week? And sometimes we just lose, we're going, 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 going. It's important for him to put that down. It's important for me to see. So he'll put his key accomplishments down. Blockers and challenges, just, hey, here are some things that are blockers. You know, here are some of the challenges that we're having, just so I know what they are. Anytime I can remove a blocker for them, that's, that's what I do. And then top three priorities this month, this is just so we can make sure we're, we're, we're clear and we're focused on the same things. You know, his priorities might be different than my, my priorities or they might not be aligned. It's important that their, their priorities align to the, the vision, align to where we're going in the strategy. And then just radar items. My number one thing when I, I, I work with uh, the VPs here is like, I hate surprises. Give me an example, hey, you know what, we found our, our AWS bill's gonna be going up, this is why, you know, it's, it's X amount, it's gonna be increasing by this much, great, have you talked with Pedro, who's our controller? I have, I just wanna let you know that you should see the increase. And so, just seeing that, knowing, opposed to just like, whoa, our bill went up, and now I'm going to Pedro, and Pedro's like, well, this is why. Um, anything with radar, uh, anything that's on the radar is important. So this is what we use, this format, to communicate. I get it every single week from him. And it's how we uh, operate weekly and then really just catch up on other things. But this is helps us have an organized meeting. Um, it's real important that the meetings that, um, that I have with just the limited time and everything that's going on are like structured. It's we're, we're deciding on things. We're not meeting to meet, we're, make, we're meeting to decide um, on, on, on what needs to happen or, or course correcting or changing or pivoting throughout the, uh, the course of a week. So that's what we call the four, I don't even know, I think it's called the four quad, the four box. <laughs> I'm not sure, but. Square. Other calls it the quad system. I've also heard the roadmap, four square. Can you just settle the debate for me and kind of just give it like a solid name? So I, know I call it the four square because you can use, you can put anything in there. You can see we've kind of modified it to, the, to our benefit. And um, it's all about what is the accomplishments for that week? What are you driving for? What are you planning for that next week? Uh, what are the pursuit of the things that you need to do for that month and that quarter? Because all you're, you're trying to make sure that you can maintain focus because there's so many new things that come in, customer escalations, new uh, technology, new ideas and thoughts, and you can literally go through a whole quarter and get nothing done because you continue to change context, switching, change different initiatives. And this really helps keep our focus. And we do sometimes pivot and change, but then we come back and we update what our goals are. We say, well, now we have a new goal. There's new information come in, new strategy. We tweak it, but we continue to make sure that that's front and center each week as we track toward that.